All right, we're back in our interview series where we're looking at top company interview questions for Python. These are kind of like mini case studies where you may be required to answer these questions using Python in an IDE, or you might even have to whiteboard these. So this is a question that has been curated by Facebook interviews, and it's around friend requests. I'm using Stratascratch uh, to practice this interview question. So let's go through the question and the approach that we should take to answer this question to show the interviewer that we know what we're doing in a sense. So the question is medium level from Facebook. It's acceptance rate by date. What is the overall friend acceptance rate by date? Your output should have the rate of acceptance by the date the request was sent. Order the earliest date to the latest. Assume that each friend request starts by a user sending by the user ID sender, a re friend request to another user user ID receiver that logged in the table with action equals sent. If the request is accepted, the table logs action equals accepted. If the request is not accepted, no record of the accepted is logged. Okay, it's kind of wordy in a sense, but let's take a look at the table here. We see we have four columns, date, action, and the user IDs, sent or receiver. We can preview that by clicking here. And we can take a look at the table. And let's, before we get to expected output, let's just kind of log in our approach. So uh, the action sent and receive, we need to count these and also get a rate which it would be accepted over sent so we're going to have to get these separated from uh, this stacked column so calculate accepted and i think i'm going to just create create a data frame by creating a data frame and then I'm just going to also calculate the scent so I think there's something to consider. So sent is going to be there regardless of if it's accepted or not. So we actually need to count all of these. So we're okay by creating two different data frames. Um, we're going to have to keep this grouping because some are sent and then some are uh, accepted group. So we'll group group by sender and receiver okay and then we'll merge these to get those columns so merge and calculate the columns to produce a rate. All right, so I think that might work. Um, what else do we need to do? Um, so we need, oh, and then we need to also group by date the final outcome and then order by let's see early 
earliest to latest. Earliest. All right. So I'm going to take this friend request because it's quite long. And I'm going to just save this as uh, DF variable data frame. And I'm going to make an accepted data frame, which would be DF and then the mask for DF. So we're going to isolate the action of accepted. So we're going to use the action column. Then we're going to put equals with the double equal sign and use accepted. And next, I want the scent. So that's just going to be DF brackets. Then we get our mask for scent. Oops, action. Equals. So we got the first two parts taken care of. Uh, so now we probably want to merge these two. So I'm going to say uh, merge equals PD dot merge and then accept it. And then I think I'll start with sent first since it's a bigger one. Sent, accept it are the two tables. We, our left table is sent, so left, oh, we don't even need to say left or right. We can just say on and then pass it the list that we're looking for, which would be user ID sender. I think this will work. And then user ID receiver. I don't think we need to specify. I think we just specify how we're going to merge this. I don't, we can merge it how. We'll do a left, left join. And let's take a look at merge to see what we have. Let's run the code. Okay, so that worked. So we have the action X and action Y. Uh, where is it? So this is what we want to be able to account. And then you can see that we have accepted and these were just sent but not accepted. So we're already kind of halfway there. So we've calculated the two data frames. We grouped uh, by sender and receiver. We merged, and now we need to group uh, by date and order. Oh, now we need to produce a rate. Uh, so we need to group our merge. So I'm just going to create another name as grouping equals merge dot group by group by and then we want to group by the date what do we want to we want to pass it the two action columns so we need to put a list inside those brackets so we want action X, which is the sent action underscore X, comma, action, action underscore Y, so that we can have the grouping and we can have the date column with these two columns that we're going to 
count because these are strings so we can actually count those so we can do a dot count for the aggregation on the group by and I'll show you what we have just so you can see where we are and what we need to do next so let's look at grouping oh date is not there uh, we need to specify which date uh, because we have a date X and a date Y, right? So let's just use date X. Okay, so we, looks like we have these two columns where it's aggregated on the count on action X and action Y. And then if we reset the index, we can now see the remain remainder columns that are blocked out. Reset index. Because the date is the index column. So if we reset that, we're going back to the regular 0 to whatever numerical index. So let's run that. OK, we have those two. Let's look at our preview to see what the expected outcome is. So we, I think we have the good right answer already. Uh, we just need to do the calculation because uh, this three out of four is 75 and um, two out of three is 66. So now we just need to create a new column, which would be grouping. And then we want to call that acceptance rate all right acceptance rate equals um we want the uh, action y so df dot action y divided by oops and that Oh, not DF, grouping, sorry. Grouping, because we want to use the same data. Grouping, that action Y, and let me just copy this. And then put action X. And we also want to multiply multiply that by 100 so we can get the right rate and then we just need those two columns so date x and acceptance rate so grouping and we want to have our I'm just going to copy this column this section we want acceptance rate and right before that, we want our date. And we're using date x. So date underscore x. And acceptance rate. Uh, that looks right. We're creating a data frame by putting the brackets over it and then passing it the list of column names that we want. So let's run it. All right. Oh, we don't need to multiply by 100, my mistake. So let's get rid of that and run it again. And I think we have the answer. So we can click check solution and we are good to go. So let's evaluate if there's any other way to do this. I was thinking maybe you could unstack the columns in some way. Um, but I wasn't sure about how to take that approach. So maybe some other people have done the same. So group buys, group buys, group buys, and merges. Uh, here is, so it looks like we took the regular old approach and it seems like everybody kind of took a similar stab at merging these two data frames. Okay. Well. Remember that you can 
always document what you're doing with the beginning because you want to show the recruiter how you think about answering the question because it you it may take a very long time for you to arrive at the answer so just make sure you document what you're doing and you might need a little bit of a push and and a good recruiter would uh help you out a bit but um this is and no one's expecting you to learn the perfect syntax so that's a good question on Strata Scratch from Facebook at a medium level. I hope this helps. Thank you.